Hey kids, Don Millis here from the state and local tax team at Reinhardt uh, with a few words about a new taxing scheme that could be coming to a town near you. Uh, Wisconsin policymakers have long talked about uh, creating an alternative to the property tax for local governments. In his most recent budget, the governor proposed allowing local governments to uh, collect an additional sales tax. Now, the legislature didn't see it that way, and that item was deleted from the budget. Not to be deterred, some local governments have taken it upon themselves to create their own novel revenue stream. The tax scheme du jour is to create a tra transportation utility or a transportation tax uh, that attempts to uh, assess businesses and individuals uh, based on the amount of traffic that their properties generate in each community. Now, there are many problems with these new transportation utilities or transportation taxes. First, it's not even clear that local governments have the authority to impose such taxes. Uh, while Wisconsin statutes provide explicit authority for local governments to enact, for example, a wheel tax, they say nothing about transportation utilities or transportation taxes. In fact, it is very likely that there will be a legal challenge to uh, one or more of these transportation tax schemes in the near future. So, stay tuned. Second, even if local governments have the general authority to uh, create a transportation utility or enact a transportation tax scheme, uh, it's often the case, or it's likely, that they could be violating uniformity. Uh, Wisconsin's Constitution requires uniformity in taxation, and at least one or more of the transportation tax schemes that have been enacted appear to violate the uniformity clause. Third. Unlike the property tax that has exemptions for churches and hospitals and other types of nonprofits, the transportation tax schemes and utilities that have been enacted thus far have no such exemptions. Finally, these transportation tax schemes do not provide a uniform method to challenge the amount of an assessment. If a taxpayer disagrees with the calculations, it's going to be a challenge to find a way to appeal that assessment. Uh, Wisconsin law provides a uniform method to challenge property tax assessments, income tax assessments, and sales tax assessments. Wisconsin law provides no such uniformity or no uniform method to uh, challenge these transportation tax schemes. The point of all this is, is if, you, if a community in which you have property or in which you operate a business enacts one of these transportation tax schemes, it would be important for you to consult with an attorney who specializes in local government taxation. And then, as always, the state and local tax team here at Reinhardt is ready and willing to help.